I have such a deep personal um, investment in this program and I just want it to be very successful and I'll do whatever I can to get it to that point. Brooke Store is Lady Texter basketball and has been for a large part of her life. I think about growing up as a, a young girl and, and coming to Lady Texter games and then going to camps and then being able to play for Coach Barmore, Kim Mulkey, Christy Curry, uh, Kurt Bucky, all of those people that have been so important to the success here at Louisiana Tech. Store, formerly Brooke Lassiter, was at the forefront of Louisiana Tech's women's basketball team from 1998 until 2002 as a point guard. But last April, she returned back home to take the helm in a different way. It is my privilege to introduce the next head coach of the Lady Texters, Brooke Store. But she didn't come alone. She brought along husband Scott Store, who took a position on the coaching staff as co-head coach opposite of his wife. When we took the job, uh, the thing that we kind of promised ourselves that we were going to do it uh, the way that we kind of always talked about it as far as recruiting in the, the particular style of players that we wanted to and the type of people that we wanted in our program, uh, we promised ourselves that we wanted to enjoy the people that we got on the bus with. For the stores, coaching together as a family unit isn't something unfamiliar. In their most recent coaching job together, the dynamic duo completely turned around a Northwestern State program thanks to their strong core values. And they brought those values with them to Ruston. We understand that we're coaching people and it's not just a player out there. We're coaching people and it starts with the relationships that we build with them. And we're very big on um, core values, our four core values are family, passion, service, and accountability, and family is a big deal to us. They're going to see us in life, and they're going to see us in good days and bad days. We believe our players that that helps us, that they can understand us better, that we can understand them better, um, that, they, that they know ultimately we do care about them, and that when we talk about family, it's, it's not necessarily about, you know, being blood related, but it's about the people you love, you trust, and you respect. And they even go as far as integrating their own two kids, Aubrey and Cooper, into the team. These players can, they kind of grow up with our kids and, and they kind of understand that Aubrey and Cooper are, are, yes, they're part of our family, but in some ways they kind of attach themselves to the players and, and they kind of become older sisters and that the word family kind of takes on a little bit more as far as how we do things. After finishing the regular season with a 12-6 and conference record and clinching a first round bye in the championship, the stores know whatever the end result may be, the team will move on together as a family. We have two at home, but we have 14 at the office, and I want them to feel like um, even on good day, they're going to see us in our, at our best, and they're going to see us at our worst. This is who we are, and we understand that bouncing a ball and winning a game is really important, but ultimately, it's not more important than the people around you and the relationships that you build and the people that you love dearly.